Okay, let's say you have a set of data x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, and this goes on up to xn. Okay, this data has a mean value, okay, of x bar and a standard uh, deviation of sigma. Okay, it has a mean value, all right, of uh, x bar and a standard deviation of sigma. So now my point is, what if uh, a certain constant is added to each of the value, such as this? That means this becomes now a plus x1. This becomes a plus x2. This becomes a plus x3. That becomes a plus x4 and a plus x5. And this goes on up to a plus xa. So a constant is added, okay, to each of the data. A constant is added to each of the data. Then what happens to the mean and what happens uh, to the, what do you call, to the standard deviation, all right? Okay, what will happen to that? So you will find that, okay, so your mathematical uh, analysis should show, understanding, huh? Your mathematic analysis to show that if I add this, it's the same as that. If I add this and divide by n, I will get the mean. So that will give me the mean, which is the x bar. Okay. Now, on top of it, I have what we call, okay, I have what we call the a. This is the same thing. That means this is a constant value for each. So I drag it out a bit. Okay, so all. Okay. And this goes on right to it. So this is like you have the total will be like n a divided by n. So that will give you a, a mean. Huh? That will give you, I put in a different form. Huh? I put that as x1. Okay, and this is x2. That means there are two means here. All right, one mean due to the A, one mean due to the X. I've got that. Okay, this will give you, this will give you a value of A. Therefore, combine this, you will get a new mean, a new mean of A plus X bar, which is the old mean. So, this is the effect of adding a constant to each of the data. So the effect is the mean, when you add the mean, well, you just have to add the constant to the mean and you'll get the new mean. What about standard deviation? So I can project the idea to standard deviation as well. So standard deviation is what? Basically you have a mean value, you find the difference in the mean value for each of them. You find the difference in the mean value of each of them. You find the difference in the mean value of each one. So follow me, yeah? follow me. So this is your mean, okay? So this one, all right? You take this value, follow me, yeah? you take this, find the difference of that. Okay. You take this, find the difference of that. You take this, find the difference of that. You take this, find the difference of that, square the difference, divide by n, you get that. Now this is a new set of data, and this is the new mean. So the same thing, you take this, you minus that. You take this, you minus that. You take this, you minus that. What happens to your A? When you take this, you minus that, your A cancels off. That means the impact of A is canceled out. So although you have added A to each of the data, when you find the deviation, when you find the deviation, the difference between each data with the mean, the new mean, you find that the A effect is not there. The effect of your A is not there, it cancels off, which means it's the same as that. Therefore, the standard deviation does not change. Therefore, the standard deviation new will be exactly as the old because the A has no effect when you find the deviation. See, so yeah, you take this, you find the difference. 
So the A and the A cancels off. So it is X1 minus XO. Uh, the earlier one was just X1 minus that. Okay, so when A is not there, when A is not there, X old and X new is the same. Both are the same. This is that. So the A effect is not there. So by addition of a constant, you do not, by adding a constant, you do not alter, okay, the standard deviation. You only alter the mean. Now, that's a very important point. Okay, now besides this, you can also use this symbol as the mean. Huh? Mean is also having this symbol. This also is the symbol for mean. Huh? Okay, now next point. All right? This is what happened. Okay, so now let's look at the logic. Let's look at the logic. Huh? So take down this. I hope you have taken down. I'm going to erase that. Okay, so the understanding for me is very important. Okay, this is the old one will be, okay, sigma x over n. Standard deviation will be basically square root sigma, uh, sigma x minus x bar square over n. I never put the i and all that, just to give you the idea, okay? So now, what do they say? So they say that each one is multiplied with a x one. A x two, A x three, until A x n. So, how will you get your sigma, new sigma? So, sorry, new uh, mean. A new mean will be A x one plus A x two plus A x three plus dot 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 A x n. The whole thing divided by n. Okay, the whole thing is divided by n. Okay, so this will be equivalent to one. Then you can factorize the a. It is as good as you factorize the a, you'll get your x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus xn, the whole thing divided by n, which can be simplified as sigma x over n. Okay. This, this one. Isn't this one the same as the old one? So this is as good as X old. That's how you get the relationship. So you can see this is this one. Oh, sorry, this one. So that's how you get that. So I'm just showing you the concept. All right. Okay. Now, in the case of sigma, in the case of sigma, so it will be basically the new sigma will be you take each value a x one minus your new new one will be your uh, a x bar. So I just put I don't put a I just put bar. Okay. Uh, or old old one. Okay. So each one. Huh? This will be square plus a x two minus a x bar whole square dot dot dot. I put it that the whole thing square root divided by n. I just continue the n. I didn't take that too much to write. Okay. So okay, you can you can take this out. So that will be your a squared at one minus x old bar plus a squared x two minus x bar old dot 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 divided by n the whole thing square root. So this a squared can be brought out. So since I don't have the space, I'm going to squeeze in here. A can be brought out, square root A, and you have left with square root sigma x minus x bar squared over n. You have that. Now, isn't this 
the same as the old one. Uh, that's how the formula becomes A sigma. So this becomes A sigma whole. Okay, this one I put it here. I put this here so that it doesn't clash with it. A x o. So you can see their relationship. All right, not just simply memorizing the formula. So I'm just showing you the concept. All right, that's how it is. So that's why you just multiply with the old one. 